guys what's going on man got a lot of stuff to talk about in this video as you may I may not have known Hydroid Prime Access is gonna come to a close on December the 12th now what that means is, is that you have the allotted time to get Hydroid Prime Access so you can get Hydroid Prime, Nami Scala Prime and Ballistica Prime because once it goes that's it it's gone but in return, what we're going to have is that Mirage Prime is going to be coming right after. Now, in order for Mirage Prime to come out, a frame has to leave the game, as we all know. Because there'll be too much Primes in the game, so one has to leave, one has to come in. And that will be Saren. Saren Prime, along with the, the Spira Prime, and also the Nakana Prime. Is going to be vaulting with her. So on December 12th, she's going to be going. Now let me get to Saren right quick because as we all know, she's the frame with the biggest booty in the game. Richie may come and attest to this, but you know what? He already knows as well. You cannot mess with that booty. Saren is just thick that way. I know this Saren that I'm rocking with right here is a different skin. But if I had a different skin on, which is her default skin, oh yeah, you'll see that thickness on her. As we all know, as far as with her abilities, she has the whole molt, she has the spores, she has the toxic glass, she has that miasma. She's a debuff frame. Deal with that viral prog, having enemies health for a period of time for 6 seconds is a godsend, especially when it comes to these armored units. What she brings to the table is what I like to call transcending as far as going into high level enemies because they cannot deal with losing health over time and Saren is the best at doing that. Now as far as getting her parts however her blueprint you can still get it from Meso Relics. Her helmet you could get it from Meso Relics as well. Her chassis you could get it from that as well. And I believe her systems, you could get it from Meso Relics as well. I've seen people get Saren systems from there. So you could get mo most of her stuff from Meso Relics anyway. You may probably get it from Neo as well, but you need to have the Relic for that as well. As far as for the Spirit Prime, Spirit Prime is one of the best secondaries that we have in the game still. Remember that time when it came out, its stats were not appeasing. The regular spear was still stronger than the spear of prime. They had to put that hot fix out there, put the stats the way it's supposed to, and it is where it is right now. Furthermore, as far as with the blueprint, you could get the blueprint from running relic missions and so on. Get the blueprint. You have two blades and you have two pouches. The two blades are rare. They didn't change nothing right there, and the two pouches are rare. So you have to go and get those as well. As far as how much could they be going in the trade chat, it could be spanning from either between 90 plat and up. You know, there's, go there's always going to be somebody that's going to be like, oh, I got it for cheaper and all that stuff. Well, hey, good for you. I'm not going to be selling mine for no less than that anyway. And in due time, it's going to get up towards that range of like 130, 150 and possibly more. Because since those blades and the pouches are rare... There's no stones going to be on, um, turned on it either. And last but not least, we have the beautiful Nakana Prime. The reason why I say beautiful Nakana Prime is because it, with all the melee weapons we have in this game, and we have a lot of melee weapons in this game, we can make a whole bunch of builds, do what we got to do. But as far as the Nakana Prime still being a top tier Melee weapon, still one of the best melee weapons we have in the entire game. Because of its crit chance, crit damage, status, and on top of it being a Nakana, it's, it just looks so damn awesome. But at the same time as well, the status of it, and it's dealing in Slash, you, you cannot beat it. And once you put Blood Rush on it, and on top of that, when you have uh, the Gladiator mods on it, it will push it ever so further and if you got a ribbon for it as well psh, sky's the limit for you so you got the blueprint you could get the blueprint from running neo s8 because i got a whole bunch of those so you could run that to get both either the kind of blueprint or you can also get a spirit pouch from the neo s8 as well 
you can also get uh, the Nakana Hilt as well. The Nakana Hilt is rare and the blade is rare. You could get the blade by running Meso Relics and I believe for the Hilt you have to run that uh, Axie N4 I believe which has Hydroid's Helmet and the Hilt is at the bottom of it so you could get the Hilt there as well. And once you have a number of sets, I suggest you hold on to that Nakana because as of now, I've been seeing people selling their Nakanas for like at least 80 to 90 plat at base. And as far as with Saren goes, Saren is, is like right now at least worth 100 plat and she's not even vaulted yet. She's already, she's been had a whole bunch of fan base having a whole bunch of love from people because they know and respect for what Saren does for a team and what she can bring. Oh God, there goes a hot fix. What is this fixing the issue where there will be no extraction market between? Oh God, they're doing this now. <laughs> I was surprised they're gonna be doing this in three minutes, but I mean, hey, I'll still be in this mission. It really doesn't matter. But yeah, man, as far as with the love Saren be getting from the community. Is without question. Everybody loves Saren. I've not come across a person that doesn't love Saren anyway. So that's just what that is. So you have Saren, Nakana, and you also have the Spirit Prom leaving with Saren on December the 12th. But once Saren leaves, like I said, a new Prom is going to be coming into the game. We all seen pictures of it. We all know that she's coming. Mirage Prom is next. And based on how she looks... Hey, I'm impressed. I didn't expect Mirage Prime to look the way she looks. I thought she would have like a different look, a different feel. But based on how she looks and come across, I mean, hey, I'm not disappointed. I'm actually looking forward to Mirage Prime. There had to be somebody that could replace Saren as far as with looks and have a good body. Hey, I'm, I'm not complaining as far as with Mirage. Because Mirage, she, she looks awesome. She may not have the body of Saren, but as far as with the looks and the cuteness, I mean, hey, it works. So, as far as all that stuff, as far as what I covered, I mean, hey, Hydroid Prime Access is leaving on December 12th. That means Saren is going as well. Once, once Hydroid Access goes, Mirage is going to be coming in the game, which means Saren is going to be leaving at that time too. So, a lot of things is going to be happening in that time period. So, if you have relics and you don't want to use them, it's fine. Gather up them relics so that when she gets vaulted, you can farm her the same way. And if you get a part, it should be worth a good bit. It kind of depends on the buyer and whatnot at that time. But as far as when Saren does get vaulted, if you have sets of her, as far as with Saren, Nakana, Spira, I just suggest you hold it. I know a lot of people may not even hold it. They just want to sell it right off because they're trying to get some plat. So they can either buy the Necros new skin or embers vermilion skin and all that stuff it's all good but if you want to make some form of plat off of them i would play the waiting game like wait at least three four or even seven months down the line so that you will see the value of Saren rise because i didn't expect Saren to be to be even worth a hundred right now and she's not even vaulted yet the Nakana Prime, like 90, and at the same time, the Spira, like 90. I wasn't even expecting that. I thought some people would be like, oh, let me sell this for this amount and stuff. It's like, nah, it's not the case. Because I had a Spira Prime set that I sold not too long ago. I was able to sell that for 95 to a guy. It wasn't even on the Europe region because that's where I normally sell my stuff. But it was from there. And then I was able to sell another one in North America and then I sold another one in the Europe region for both 95 so it, it's kind of throwing me in a as like in a curveball it's like damn you know I was right all along as far as with Saren Saren is just that top tier she's that awesome to a lot of people and it comes down to the player as if you know how to use her right Psh, hey she is every bit as one of the best frames we have in the game as far as not only debuffing enemies but dishing out that damage with less um, DPS. So, I mean, hey, Saren is every bit as awesome as she could possibly get. 
so that pretty much covers the video right now guys I know I've been going on a little bit too long more than I should but I feel like it's necessary because a lot of people want to know how to get the parts where to get them and stuff what's going to happen once December 12th rolls around so I'm giving you every bit of this information as I can on it there's gonna be more obviously they're gonna have like a post later on probably like next week or something like that in regards to oh you know Saren's gonna get vaulted so I suggest you stack up on sets and sets of Saren, Spira, Nakana all that stuff and as you see right there it said hotfix has been deployed I'll I'll do that after this mission man I'll still be in here but as far as with the main attraction which is Mirage Prime I don't even know what weapons is gonna be coming with her to be quite honest with you I don't think nobody knows on that part yet but it's coming but as far as with Saren Spira Prime Nakana Hydro Prime Axis that's already been confirmed so I suggest you guys hop to it, get those sets, hold on to them as, as long as you possibly can. And I know somebody is going to be asking, how much sets you got, Kachi? You know, you know I want to see how much, what number you got. Mostly I already know how much sets I have. It's just been out of whack as far as with all the blueprints that I've been getting. But off of the top of my head, I'm just saying probably like around 74 because I'm going off of the chassis. The Nikana, I have at least 20 because I'm going off of the blades. And as far as with the Spira, I probably have at least 10 to 12 sets because I'm going off of the pouches and I'm also going off of the blade. So I'm going off of the top of my head. I could have had a little bit more, but like I said, I sold the number of sets that I had. So it is what it is. But that's pretty much the video, guys, right there for you. Saren's gonna get vaulted, Hydroid Prime Access is ending soon, and Mirage Prime is our next new Prime Warframe coming into the game. So, I suggest prepare yourself. That's all I gotta say. Prepare yourself and you will not be shocked.